another important class of solution consists of solids dissolved in liquid for example sodium chloride glucose urea cane sugar in water iodine and sulfur dissolved in carbon disulfide some physical properties of these solutions are quite different from those of pure solvents the typical example is vapor pressure so let's discuss more on the solid dissolving in liquid this is how the solid started dissolving in liquids how is it looks good right let's move on so let's discuss on the dissociation of ions so i got sodium and chlorine ions once if it is mixed with water you are able to see it is mixed with water automatically the dissociation of ions are happening you are able to see it the water molecule so slowly it will start to grab the ions separately separating the individual ions in a solute by the solution molecules are called as dissociation of salt or dissociation of ions so let's discuss on the vapor pressure of a liquid solution in general liquids at a very given temperature vaporize and under equilibrium condition the pressure exerted by the vapors of the liquid over the liquid phase is called as vapor pressure in a pure liquid the entire surface is occupied by the molecules of the liquid if a non volatile solute is added to a solvent to give you a solution the vapor pressure of the solution is a solely from the solvent alone here is the two pictures which indicates a pure solvent and here one mole of solvent with one mole of solute the evaporation of the molecule of the solvent from is denoted by this one in a solution a solid particles have been denoted by the green color and they also occupy part of the surface area the vapor pressure of the solution at a given temperature is found to be lower than the vapor pressure of the pure solvent at the given temperature in the solution the surface has both solute and solvent molecules thereby the fraction of the surface covered by the solvent molecules gets reduced consequently the number of solvent molecules escaping from the surface is correspondingly reduced thus the vapor pressure is also reduced the decrease in the vapor pressure of solvent depends on the quantity of non volatile solute present in the solution irrespective of its nature for example decrease in the vapor pressure of water by adding 1.0 mole of sucrose to 1 kg of water is nearly similar to that produced by adding 1.0 mole of urea with the same quantity of water at the same temperature so raoult's law in its general form can be stated as for any solution the partial vapor pressure of each volatile compound in the solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction in a binary solution let us denote the solvent by 1 and solid by 2 when the solute is non volatile only the solvent molecules are present in vapor phase and contribute to the vapor pressure so let p1 be the vapor pressure of the solvent and x1 be its mole fraction p i0 be its vapor pressure in the pure state thus according to raoult's law the p1 is directly proportional to x1 and p1 is equal to x1 p1 0 the proportionality constant is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent p1 0 the plot between the vapor pressure and the mole fraction of the solvent is linear
That's it. Thanks for watching our G-Tech Techno Solution product from G-Tech Company. Thank you.